biochemical identification of bacteria and archaea using biolog identification system and total viable count of aerobic anaerobic bacteria and archaea is carried out in our lab we do antimicrobial testing and efficacy testing of various instruments used in the field of microbiological applications like sanitization chamber germicidal cabinet etc we also offer services like identification of bacteria and archaea using 16s rrna gene sequencing additionally we also offer whole genome sequencing of various bacterial and archaeal isolates we have developed a microbial formulation which we have isolated from the reservoir itself these indigenous microbes comprises of novel species of bacteria and archaea capable of growing at a very high temperature of 101 degree celsius here we have developed an efficient energy recovery process of ligocellulosic agricultural waste where these stuff fibers are degraded to methane by an efficient and actively growing consortium of microorganisms this process to methane conversion is done without the need for any chemical or physical treatments which is again a very beneficial and an economical process from the industrial point of view research institute has developed mobile application for hemoglobin estimation This application is very inexpensive and useful for rural as well as low income settings. This method requires very small amount of blood which is mixed with the reagent. The photo of the color developed is then taken using mobile application which displays the hemoglobin value. My team is working on the development of synthetic root for natural products and their analogs. We are evaluating these molecules for infectious diseases and cancer biology. Dihydrotubosa flavonoids and protoparflavon A are first time synthesized in our laboratory. These molecules showed promising potency against chikungunya and tuberculosis. Sciences. We offer the services for material characterization by scanning electron microscopy for determination of morphology and size of the particles, by nanosite for particle size and density, and by zeta malvern zeta sizer for particle size and charge. The materials can also be characterized by XRD and atomic absorption spectrophotometry. The imaging facilities by fluorescence microscopy and inverted microscope are available. The in vitro cell line studies can be carried out at the animal tissue culture facility where various materials can be tested for their cytotoxicity profile. In addition, we are also carrying out the antiviral activities uh, against for different compounds, materials and devices. Uh, the state of art animal house facility is available where various materials can be uh, tested in vivo in various models for their anti cancer anti diabetic anti fungal or anti alzheimer activities we are working on the applications of nanotechnology for health agriculture and environment we have filed an indian patent on nano mb an anti fungal nano formulation which is a dry powder injectable formulation and it has immense potential as a safe and an effective antifungal against human pathogen nano amb is safe highly biocompatible and does not have any ne nephrotoxicity it has immense potential as the current antifungals which are being which are being used have the problem of resistance we have filed for another indian patent on hemohalt a rapid hemostatic agent which can help in saving lives and reducing the hospitalization cost hemohalt is highly absorbent it is soft pliable and it can mainly absorb blood in 2 to 3 minutes and stop bleeding within 2 to 3 minutes the ari repository is consulted by scientists as well as research students from india and abroad for comparative studies ARI houses over 7000 specimens including major fossil groups like mollusks, echinoids, plant fossils, trace fossils and microfossils. The fossils come from various parts of India. Our group works on various aspects of fungi and lichens. Antimicrobial, anti-cancer, antioxidant and cytotoxicity of fungal and lichen substances are being studied. Besides Fungal pigments and their application in textile industry, 
and screening up thermodolent yeast in ethanol fermentation are another important area of research being continued at this group. In recognition of authoritative work on mycology, the Department of Science and Technology Government of India has established a national facility for culture collection of fungi at our institute. This facility extends nationwide services such as acquisition, verification, preservation and maintenance, deposit and accession, conventional and genomic identification, distribution of authenticated and reliable strains of fungi and yeast to various academic research institutions and industries. Annually, hundreds of academic institutions, high-tech polyhouses and different industries are benefited from our services. Apart from these, national level workshop and training program are organized for building capacity in thrust area of mycology. Hundreds of young scientists, faculty, postdocs and PhD students across India are trained every year. Our group houses two internationally recognized depositories. Ajarekan Mycological Herbarium that holds about 40,000 specimens of fungi and lichens. The second one is the National Fungal Culture Collection of India that holds more than 5,000 cultures of fungi and yeast. Thank you very much. Mm, correct identification of the life forms is the basis of any biodiversity study. Our group provides identification service of plants and diatoms to masses on a payment basis. We have a big repository of plants, diatoms and raw medicinal drugs in the department which can be accessed by the researchers. We also provide crude drug authentication services for academia and industries using the advanced tool-led techniques. This service is highly useful for confirming the ID of the raw drugs being used in Ayurveda and other medical systems. In addition, our experts also provide water quality monitoring based on diet terms and other diversity analytical services to the academia and industries. Thank you. So far we have released varieties for the different uh, diverse climatic reasons like uh, Ryanfeld situation, limited irrigation situation and uh, full fertility, full irrigation situations. So totally we have released 13 varieties included uh, 4 chapati varieties, 8 durum or bansi varieties and 1 dicocum or kapli wheat varieties. So we have released varieties in the name of uh, MSES series which have spread across the zone about 2.5 lakh hectare area in the states of Maharashtra and Karnataka. We render the service to the nation through production and supply of the good quality soybean seed. The breeder seed of improved soybean varieties developed by us supplied to the farmers, farmer producer companies, seed multiplying agencies of the state and central government, as well as to the private companies. Soybean varieties developed by us covers an area of about 5 to 8 lakh hectares each year in the country. We demonstrate the improved technologies to the farmers through frontline demonstrations which helped to increase the yield of soybean by 25 to 30 percent over the traditional practice. In India, grapes are mostly grown for table purpose. All commercial varieties under cultivation are susceptible to fungal diseases like downy mildew and powder mildew. Hence, together we are developing varieties with the aim to have high yielding varieties and with better quality character and disease resistance. Recently, one of our varieties, ARI 516, is identified and released for cultivation in four states, Punjab, Maharashtra, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. The variety is early maturing, high yielding and it has unique musky flavor. Highly adaptable and grows well in diverse climatic conditions. It is amenable to all grape growing systems, field tolerant to downy mildew and powdery mildew and anthrax most diseases. It requires normal plant protection care against diseases. The variety requires less in inputs in terms of pesticides, labor and other chemicals with growth hormones etc. We have also developed seedless mutant of this variety and we are doing molecular characterization. In the developmental biology group of ARI, we have different model organisms such as Hydra, Drosophila and Zebrafish to study developmental processes. 
in our group we provide toxicology services using zebrafish embryos and hydroculture kit that is what we distribute to different colleges and research institutes this kit contains all the essential material which is required for the startup such as artemia cyst hydropolyps 100x hydro medium uh, crystallizing bowels pasteur pipettes uh, and the protocol which is required for the maintenance and the use of the hydra 